What's going on everybody? For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and you turn on your bell for the notifications so you never miss out on any of the videos that I post. But today we're talking all about the secret keys to happiness. Make sure you watch to the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of your keys to happiness. I'll also be sharing with you the inspiration behind this video that will shock you. Let's dive in. Happiness isn't something that you find. It's something that you create every day. You own the secret keys to your own happiness. So the first key is to start your day off with a moment of gratitude. This puts you in a grateful spirit. Next, you want to recite positive affirmations to yourself. Your mind believes everything that you tell it. So that's why it's so important to create that positive mindset. Your next key is to identify two or three things that you'll do for yourself to create happiness for the day. So oftentimes we can get so busy with everyday life and we push things to the side and forget to carve out time for ourselves. So make sure you're identifying those things to create your own happiness for the day. You also want to identify things to make you happy that are free. So like enjoying a beautiful sunset, meditation, walking in. You also want to think about what can give you endorphins. So exercising will give you endorphins and it just gives you that rush of happiness. Think about your short term happiness as in what can you do today to make yourself happy? And then also think about your long-term happiness. What does long-term happiness look like to you? So once you've identified that picture of what long-term happiness looks like, then you want to take steps to achieve it. So your next key to happiness is working on your dream every day for 30 minutes. That would equal 10,950 hours a year or 456 days. Just think of all the things that you could accomplish within that time. When people say that they're tired, oftentimes it's not because of a lack of sleep or exhaustion. It's due to not spending enough time doing what you love. The next key is all about your job. You spend most of your life at your job, not just most of your day, most of your life. So you really want to sit down and think about that and ask yourself, are you truly happy with your job? And if you're not, quit it like a bad habit and start doing something that you love. So let's think about this. Most people work eight hours or more a day, plus commute time. The only other thing that you probably do for that long is sleep. So if you hate your job, what is that doing to your life? Life is extremely short. So if you're sitting at a table and you feel like you're not being fed, even though you've brought this amazing platter of food, that's a clear indication that it's time to leave. Go and build your own table where you know you'll be fed. You've got to put yourself first. No job is worth your life or your happiness. So many people die of job stress every day. According to the World Health Organization, three quarters of a million people are dying of job stress every year. So that's why it's so important to quit those toxic jobs. Go out and do something that you love. Run after your dreams. Your next key to happiness is all about your relationships. You've got to be happy on your own. It's basically like dating yourself. So do those things that you would want someone else to do for you. Buy yourself amazing gifts. Take yourself on a beautiful solo trip or go out to a nice dinner. And then you can let significant others bring you more joy. Think about it this way. Being happy solo is like an amazing ice cream sundae. You've got the ice cream, chocolate, sprinkles, and that's great. And it would just be fine if you ate it like that. But it's also great with a cherry on top, which would be your significant other. So you're creating your own happiness solo, and then you just allow a significant other to bring you more joy. But you're the one creating your own happiness. Remember this. Never give anyone the keys to your happiness. That gives them all the power. Because what would happen if they decide to turn the key the other way and then they're making you unhappy? You own your own happiness. So you never want to give those keys away. So you never want to tell someone, oh, you make me happy. 
They may bring joy to your life, but they're not making you happy. Only you can truly make yourself happy. So clutch them keys. And you never want to put that expectation on someone else to make you happy because that's a recipe for disaster. Because as I said, you're the only one that can make you happy. So your next key to happiness is making sure that you take care of your health. So that would include getting enough sleep, getting enough water a day. Those eight glasses can be hard, but they're definitely necessary. And then eating healthy as well, because when you eat healthier foods, you feel better. When you're just putting crap in your system, you're going to feel like crap. And make sure you're working out every day. That's going to give you endorphins. It's going to make you happy and boost your mood for the day. This may seem like a lot to remember or to do every day, but soon it'll become natural. The truth is happiness is a choice and it's something that you got to choose on a daily basis. But if you're unhappy right now, just remember that this too shall pass and trouble doesn't last always. You will get through this. Remember this, you have a survival rate of 100%. For all of the bad days, the setbacks, for the times that you didn't see a way out, you survived 100% of the time. So as you look back on your previous year, if you've only survived, that's a win because not everyone made it to the next year. Some people threw in the towel and gave up but you are still here and that should be celebrated. Soon you'll want to get to a point where you're thriving instead of surviving. So let's talk about the inspiration for this video. One day I was online watching this video of this guy walking up and down the streets of New York and he was going around asking everyone one question and one question only. Are you happy? And the responses were shocking. And the reason why it was shocking to me is because it's similar to that question of how are you doing? Most people do not expect to get a real answer and they're not looking for some long drawn out response of everything that's going on in your life. Usually people say, I'm good, I'm fine and keep it pushing. But in this case, this guy was on the streets of New York where people keep it a hundred. There was one guy that really stood out in that video and he had no hesitation. He said he wasn't happy because his family didn't believe in his dreams. I don't know what type of career he had, if he was an actor, a singer, or a painter, but he said that he had an artsy career and they didn't believe in his dreams, in his career. That was so heartbreaking to hear his story because dreams are so important. And I think we all would love to have people in our lives that are supportive of the things that we're doing and our dreams. If you don't have anyone that believes in you or that supports your dreams, never give up. Remember that one thing, never give up on your dreams. Regardless, if you don't have anyone supporting you, you still have to keep going because you're living your life for you and not for anyone else. And you don't want to have any regrets at the end of your life. And there was also quite a few homeless people that answered that question as well. And they said they weren't happy. And they were saying that people don't even look them in the eye anymore. And it felt like People just don't care about them at all. And that was another heartbreaking story just because, you know, if you feel like you're being looked over all the time and you just aren't even being acknowledged, then just think about what that can do to somebody. So I think that overall, all of us could always do a little more to acknowledge people and to just see how someone else's day is going. For example, if you're sitting on a subway next to someone, just see how their day is going. You never know how much that could uplift someone's day. And it also makes me think of this scripture, Hebrews 13 and 2, that says, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers. For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So in actuality, 
we really don't know who we're talking to out in public. So if you don't already know that person, you never know. You could be talking to an angel or maybe disregarding an angel. So to wrap this up, you own the keys to your own happiness. Never give up on your dreams and never give up on yourself. Happiness is in your own hands. Create it. So until next time, I'll see you later.